What are some different strategies that we apply uh, in our digital adoption project to address different skill sets of the users? First of all, what we do as part of our digital adoption projects is looking at what are the different user personas uh, that we have. We, we can have white collar employees, blue collar employees, managers, uh, uh, super users. So how do we deal for the different um, things that those different groups need. And then based on that, we look at all the processes from different angles. So this is the process you normally go through like that. Okay, if I'm um, uh, this kind of user persona, how would I go through it? If I'm, for example, a manager, will I go through it in a different way than uh, as an employee? So you base your content of what you built, you base on what is that uh, the user persona needs. Um, then obviously as well, there's very different user types. Um, if it's an application that is still in implementation mode, we might want to just focus on training the employees, how to go through the system step by step so that they really learn the system. If the system is, for example, or already live, the, the users already know how to use the application, we might work way much more on how can we make them more efficient? How can we automate the processes? How can we proactively engage with them when there's errors occurring? Um, or what are the different questions that the support team gets and build uh, content uh, out of that? So I think that is different ways and different strategies that you can have to deal with different skill sets of your users with different um, moments in, let's say, the maturity of your uh, of your application in implementation mode, post-implementation mode. So these are different strategies that you can use to address different user groups, different pain points, and this way you get content that will be helpful for anyone using your application.